flip it. What's up, JT? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Trinity. So today, I'm going to be making my first ever realistic cake. I saw a TikTok. It was a like realistic cake kit that you could make at home and it's sold by Johnny Cakes. He was a familiar face. I'm a big fan of like cooking shows, baking shows, a lot of Netflix food related shows. I ordered it off of the TikTok shop. That's where I got mine and it arrived and I did kind of already open it because I was curious. I was really surprised to find out that everything I need is in here. I did not think that was it. But no, everything you need is in here. So it comes with modeling chocolate, the actual like mold, white chocolate, some cornstarch, already in a bag. He did that. I was so happy to see this because I, I wish more people did this because some of us want to be part of creating realistic cakes. Like me, I'm trying to be better at my baking. Like your girl can cook, but baking like very aesthetically pleasing like desserts, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I'm trying to become better in that area and this is just a great way for me to tap into it. Some Fruit Loops, because we're gonna be making a bowl of cereal and it's gonna be Fruit Loops. It also comes with directions, which is amazing. <laughs> the things that you need in your kitchen though, because this isn't everything that you need. Two eggs, one unsalted stick of butter, heavy cream, vegetable oil, which is optional, kitchen staples, you need a spatula, a whisk, or a large spoon, scissors, microwave safe bowls, you're gonna need two of those, measuring cups, rolling pin, sharp knife, a plate, a spoon, oven mitt, saran wrap, paper towels, and cutting board. It seems like a lot, but I'm pretty sure you and your mama got these in your kitchen. There is a QR code that I can take a picture and a password, so, I ain't gonna tell y'all the password. It takes me to a video or I can do like a written tutorial. I'm probably going to glance at the video just cause I love, I'm a visual learner. And Johnny Cake pops up to basically give us a walkthrough on how to do this. Is his name Johnny Cakes? Hey Johnny, hey. I have Johnny Cakes walking me through. So I'm gonna pop him right there. And we're gonna listen and we're gonna learn how to do this, okay? So starting off with the cake, obviously you have to bake the cake. My oven is preheated on 325, two eggs and butter, four teaspoons. So that's half of a stick of butter. Some water, melt the butter for about 30 seconds. Let's do that. And like he said, we're not trying to melt it like that. We're trying to, you know, just heat it up a little. So just keep an eye out on it. Bring in the butter. Mine looks a little bit more melted than his, but I'll move a little slow so it can cool down because I do know you don't want it scorching hot. Some water, two eggs. Y'all haven't seen me juggle in a minute, so let's juggle a little bit if you don't mind. Right? Yes. I still have it, y'all. I still have it. Like this video. Like this video for that. Two eggs. Whisking it. Break up that yolk. Also, he said that if you not have butter, use vegetable oil. It's nice and whisked. Now I'm pretty sure we now add in the cake mix next, but let's watch the video just cause I don't know, like I just want to do it right. Y'all know I tend to go off and do my own thing. I'm trying not to do that, okay? The entire bag of cake mix. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Pour it in. Pull the egg. By the way, there's also ingredients on the back, just in case you are curious. Next thing, we're going to now butter, grease our bowl right here. And do I have any more butter? I actually don't. All right, taking a paper towel, I'm actually going to use some of the butter that was left in that bowl. And I'm going to freeze it 
but we may need more. I don't know. I mean, it's, mm, I wanna use more butter. Gonna just grease the inside of this fat. Taking some cornstarch. Now this is different. I've never done this before. Um, the cornstarch, he said we're gonna dust it. Which, that's, that's different. See, I'm learning something. I'm learning something. I'm telling you, like, I don't know many baking tricks. I don't. Not too many tricks up my sleeve with baking. So he says just pour some in. Kind of like just wiggle it around. And he said you just don't want to have any bald spots. Is this too much, though? <laughs> This is what mine looks like. I think it's pretty covered. I just realized I don't have like my apron, like a cute apron. That's okay, we are gonna put it on later. Now it's time to pour it in. I feel like mine looks a little thicker than his. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this, but I am. All right, so this is what it looks like. He said it should be basically halfway. I mean, I hope it just stays centered. You know, like this is a bowl. Now what he did was he kind of rested it in between the oven, like those rails. Is it called a rail? I don't know. So let's see. And I believe he said that his baked on 325 for about 40 minutes. Okay. My oven is so dirty. So don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Oh my God. I really need to clean my oven. It's horrible. Let's make sure this is centered. Okay. Let's put it in. All right. A few moments later. Mine did get a little toasty up top because I did get a little impatient and turned it up a little bit. So. Here is the cake. The next thing, let this sit for about, I think, 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Flip it. Oh. Let's see. It's not coming out. Y'all, I was so concerned. Johnny Cakes, I'm probably gonna buy me another one of these kits because I think I might have to do this again just to perfect it, okay? Because mine look like a bowl, but I mean, your girl did that. Now, get some saran wrap and you're going to make sure to lock in the moisture, he said. Lock in the heat and the moisture? The moisture. This goes into the freezer for at least two hours. Yes, this is a five to six hour project, okay? But that's cool. I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for two hours. So after you put your cake in the freezer, make sure to wash your bowl. Make sure to hand wash it. He said that if you put it in a dishwasher, it's going to it's gonna mess up the integrity of the bowl. So make sure to hand wash it. We're about to microwave. It looks like white chocolate, but I'm not very sure if it is white chocolate. Cause I think it's like ganache. Some heavy cream. One minute. Your girl's working it out, y'all. All right, 30 more seconds and I think it's gonna be done. Oh, oh that hurts. That was hot. Oh my goodness. Ooh. I'm okay, y'all. Do not be learned. <laughs> Man, one thing's for sure is you gonna get some, some battle wounds. You'll get some battle wounds or scars in the kitchen of cooking, I'm telling you. Cooking and baking at this point. That looks nice. This has to cool down to room temperature for two hours. Taking some 
saran wrap and he pressed it up against, well, inside of it. Okay. I'm excited about this part, y'all. This is the fondant part. This is like where we're creating the bowl, okay? It is about to go down. Ooh. This is hard. It was really, really hard, so I just popped it in the microwave for five seconds, and now it is nice and ready, okay? The only thing is, why is his, like, a light blue, and mine is, like, not light blue, so basically he does this for about 10 minutes, I think. I actually love kneading. Like I love it so much. I made homemade pasta. So that was a lot of uh, kneading done. So he said, if yours is too firm, put it in the microwave, which we did. And he said, if it was like too sticky, then just put it in I think the freezer or the fridge for a little bit to toughen up. I wonder if mine is too like soft, you know? Like I don't know if mine is too soft or like the right feel. You're gonna dust it with cornstarch or whatever surface you're working on. That probably is a lot, huh? On top two. And how did he say? He said, make like a, a circle like this. That way when you roll it out, it's still a circle. That look kind of even, I don't know. What is, this look pretty good right here. So the bowl is back. Okay. Dust a little bit up top, okay. And now, <gasps> put it in like this. Oh, wow. I mean, is it supposed to kind of like fall on its own? Who people with nails? Oh. My gosh, I have nails. This is like a disadvantage. But, I mean, it's in there. I may have to watch the video again because I don't know if, like, did I really do this on my first try? Like, he said the inside's gonna be filled with cake, so the inside doesn't need to look perfect, but the outside, <laughs> I don't know. See, I'm the type to just wanna do it again, but you know what? Nah. Shape. If it's getting too liquidy, it might need to be chilled. Now this is feeling pretty good. He said that I have to make sure to put this in the freezer for eight minutes and take it out immediately at eight minutes. It's been eight minutes in the freezer. So now we're gonna take out our chocolate shell in its mold and we're gonna work very quickly, okay? And I'm going to trim it and make as even of a lip as possible to make it look like a real bowl. I'm gonna take this pan and like plop it upside down and really hit it on the surface. This was genius. I need a bunch of kits like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me not try to be perfect. I mean, I see some stranglings, some stranglings. So I'm just trying to, you know. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of myself. Man, I'm so proud of me. I did that. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Gotta believe in yourself. The next day. What's up, y'all? So this is actually the next day. I'm not sure if this was supposed to be made in one day, but I had to basically come to a stop 
So if you're like me and you wanna make this like a two day thing, I think it's definitely possible. We gotta cut this cake. And you know what, I'm with it because we know the top of mine don't look too cute. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. This is gonna make sure the cake stays in place. Gonna put that at the center. Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> gonna put this back into the freezer. Well, the fridge or the freezer. We're gonna do the fridge for 10 minutes. Oh, do y'all see how real that looks? Now, y'all gotta tell my guy a little lean. All right, enough talking. This is important. This is important. Won't he do it? I'm trying to like poke one a little further in for it to look more realistic. Now I'm gonna pop it in the freezer for a little bit, just a tad, just for everything to just harden up and, and everything, and then we gonna cut it. The results. I did that, y'all. <laughs> Picture time. Cause y'all know, the girl putting her blood, sweat, and tears into this. It's time. Ah, I, you know what? I don't even want to cut this because I feel like I worked so hard. Go ahead and like this video. Give it up for your girl. Give it up for your girl, okay? Oh, shoot. I did cut a piece because obviously I wanna know what it tastes like. It's not just all about the looks. What does it taste like? For one, what is that fondant? Ain't that like wax? Here's a close up of the slice. Now let's taste it. Dear Lord, please bless this cake or a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Dear Lord, please bless this food and let it be nourishment to my body in Jesus' name for amen. I know I haven't prayed in a minute in my videos. So we were like, you're not praying over your food like you're used to. I mean, y'all, it's a conversation between me and my Lord. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all ain't gotta be all up in my prayer all the time. <laughs> mm. Mm. This is good. <laughs> Mmm, that was delicious to me. If you enjoyed this video, give me a like. I would really appreciate it. Shout outs to Johnny Cakes for just creating this kit. Y'all, I'm about to be on the hunt. I hope y'all ready for a series because if I find any more of these kits like this, oh, we gonna have some fun. Shout out to the J team. If you wanna shout out like them, all you gotta do is click subscribe, turn the notification bell, and let me know below. That's it, y'all. Make sure you do bold, brave, and beautiful, and I will talk to y'all in my next video. Bye.